Hello everyone and welcome back to what I can confirm is the final episode of my playthrough of Dark Souls. This game has grown to be one of my favorite games I've played this year by far and I can't wait to hop into Dark Souls 2, eventually 3, and all the other FromSoft games from there. Sorry I had to cut the last video in kind of a random spot but it did get quite a bit long because there is another fight after Seth and it is a feisty one. I won't spoil you on how long or short it takes me to get through it so I'll just leave that right there. With this being the final episode in this playthrough, if you had a really good time and you haven't already, it sure would help me out and it would help you out as well if you want to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you'll know exactly when episode one of Dark Souls 2 arrives on the channel. Without any further ado, let's finish our fantastic playthrough of Dark Souls. Okay, so everything's repaired. I got the ring on that I, I want. Okay, well, we're going to make another run down there. I think I know how to do it, and uh, hopefully it'll go fairly quickly. All right, I just swooshed this back to here. Oh, the crabs are back. But I think I'm going to try running right past them this time. Since we got the smoke, I should be able to get past them. It took a couple tries. I couldn't quite get the drop off that ledge that I did the first time, you know, where I, I found those little crystal crab-like things. Oh, I hope it works. Yikes. But I finally made it. All right, there's big boy. Oh no, those crabs aren't coming in too, are they? And big hit. Oh, come on. I got one hit on him. Oh. I was so worried those crabs were coming in with me. There we go. Why is he healing back up? The damage I do to him. Oh, I got to break that thing again, don't I? Oh, I forgot all about that being over there. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, he ain't gonna be happy now. At least he's still facing the other way. There we go. Now it's a fair fight, chump. Oh, he did it again where he went behind him first. Run. Oh, uh, there's a good hit. Oh boy. Let's heal up. Heal up. Okay, there we go. Oh, get past him. Oh, that was close. Oh, he pushed me. I didn't get to hit him. Yeah, you can't hit him right there. You got to hit his little tentacle things. Here's a good one. Put that away. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, boy. It's a big blast. Oh. Hey, that curse thing really helped. That helped a lot right there. And hit. Back up. He's going crazy with his tentacles. No, I tried to drink two flasks. Okay, I guess one's fine now. Come on. Trigger. Come on. It's like it's better to unlock from this guy from time to time. Come on, big guy. Oh, I just realized his he doesn't look like he has any eyes. I remember seeing that he couldn't, like, see well. Or reading that he couldn't see well. 
Ooh, that was close. I got one hit on him. Oh, he's laughing. Drink. Hey, I got far enough away that time. There he goes. No! Oh, there he goes with the big blast. No! Not good. Quick. There we go. Oh. I can't get a hit on this guy. I can't get my timing just right. Okay, here he goes. There we go. That should work. Oh! Oh crap! Run! Run! Oh, I tried jumping! I almost made it! Almost! Uh. Sit down, Seth! <laughs> Defeat Seth! Yeah! Yeah! There we go, baby! There we go! Man! Nice to give me a big old chunk of souls here at the end, even though it doesn't really matter, does it? Well, I don't know. There could still be... There could still be a lot to go. I don't think there is, but there could be, I suppose. Alright, let's level something up, shall we? Confirm. Wow. Okay, well, before we warp out of here, let's see if there's anything to be found in here. I know we dropped his... Oh, it's probably underneath keys, isn't it? Anything I can read off of that, or no? I guess not. Oh, man. I had a couple close calls, and there at the beginning, I totally forgot. I was like, why is he healing back up? <laughs> Not fair. Okay. I think I can warp straight down there, can't I? Can I go straight to... Is it... I don't remember what the name of it is. Sunlight Altar, maybe? Let's try that one. If not, we'll go to Firelink and then we'll just jump down there. Wow, he was a fight. It was a good fight. Nope. Obviously not the one I need. I'm glad this doesn't cost anything. Being able to just warp around is kind of nice. All right. Moment of truth. Uh, oh, you know what? I probably should have went somewhere where I could, like, get back up to 20 flasks in case this turns out to be a fight. Nope, not there. But we'll find out. Don't mind me, buddy. <laughs> I'm glad someone told me you don't have to ride him anymore. You can just jump straight down there. Okay, here it goes. All right, I was able to rest. That put me, okay, that gives me 10 flasks. That's a little bit better. Let's go ahead and repair my stuff. Just in case. Here we are. Getting a reaction this time, unlike the others we put in. Dude, that's a beautiful view. I love this. Oh boy.
Yo. What is this? Be wary of fall. Okay, thanks for the warning. I see blood. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Have we... Kiln of the First Flame. Have we traveled into the future now? Is this like on a lawn door, but just like... Falling apart? Need saint. Happiness ahead. I see knights up here. Praise the sun. Not much of it here to praise. Oh boy. It ain't over yet. Let me get a message in that tree. I'm sure it's just a I did it kind of thing. Can you explore or is it kind of leading you down to just some moment? I oh, actually can get around a little bit. This is crazy. I feel like I'm on the moon. It has like a moon-like terrain to me. Huh. I see a lot of blood. How much would it suck if somebody managed to get, like, all the way to here on one of those no-hit runs? And this is where they take their first hit? That would suck so bad. Well, I got a Titanite chunk. Alright. I don't mind me some chunks. That's actually what I needed for some of my levels. What is this, though? Can I, can I break that? Nope. trying to like watch around the corners in case something comes out after me. Are these bones? And they don't quite look like bones, but I guess they could be. Oh. Oh, that timed out just right for you. You suck. Nice try. My turn. I don't mind the sword guys as much as the um, halberd or speared guys. Those guys are more difficult because they don't have to put their shield down. Sword guys I can handle. I still remember, man. I got destroyed so many times by that one. And now I kind of run up on these guys like I'm not that worried. What a change, man. Where are we? I got a feeling this is going to be split into two episodes because there is so much still going on. Yo. Well, at least I don't see blue orbs down there, so I don't think it's a situation where I'm actually going to go down there. Looks, some, looks like some weird jacked up coliseum is what it reminds me of. Hmm. Is that living tissue stuff over there or no? I can't quite tell. That's a tiny ledge though. I saw a sword guy on the other side of this. Duking it out over here. I don't like this. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. 
I was so nervous. I was like, I'm not going to bring up my shield. I feel like bringing up my shield would be a bad idea here. There's something over here, though. Listen to that wind. My goodness. Hey, look at that. It's the whole Black Knight armor. I feel like I had already accumulated most of that. Supposed to be some really good armor. And weaponry. Man, I wish I had 20 flasks. Is there a bonfire by any chance? Bonfire anywhere, please. Oh, I see a white door. Dark ahead. Man. At least we got nice big stairs. This dude's got an axe. Oh, whoops. That's not how I meant to do that. That's a nice looking axe. Oh! Dude, I ain't seen that move. <laughs> he jumps straight up. It's gonna come down and crush my skull. Wow. Oh no. Here's the one that I'm most worried about. Come on, swing. Oh, he did a wind-up on that one. Did you see that? That was kind of wild. Getting a lot of chunks and stuff. I don't know if I want to see what's on the other side of that door. Wretch ahead. Miscreant ahead. Yo, look at that fall. Man. I've only got... <laughs> I'm at least going in with full health. I got seven flasks, baby. Let's see how this goes. Good luck. Oh, it's a fight. Huh. Gwyn. I'm fighting Gwyn. Huh. Oh, there was very little tell for that move. I thought you were dead. Huh. Oh, I'm out of stamina. No. I had him halfway dead. I was doing good till I ran out of stamina. Okay, I had a feeling this is where we were going to start. Okay, let's kindle this bad boy up. Oh, I have 20 flasks. I don't need to kindle it. Oh, man. Dude leaped right out at me. Kind of wild, these knights that are like... Coming through here. Like some kind of afterlife or something. Man, I gotta fight my way back through these guys, don't I? Or are they a one and... Nope, they're back. What do you think my odds are being able to run past all these guys? Just run straight to the the white light. I feel like that's gonna really come back to bite me if I try to do that. Oh. Whoop. Oh, come on. I totally had him on that swing. Wow, they're going to give me stuff each time I take one of these guys out. I might try to run past the ones on the stairs. Those ones I think I might be able to run past. These ones out here... I don't know, maybe I could run past them. Let's try it. Shall we? <laughs> Swing and a miss. wonder how far he's going to chase me. This is the guy I'm most worried about. There is very little space to try to get past him. Is he following me still? I feel like I hear him. I'm gonna heal up. Now's my chance to do it. 
Uh, I think I hear him. And excuse me. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that worked. Oh man, they are chasing me. They're not happy. I gotta try to keep my stamina up though, so I got stamina for running past those moments. Nice try. Let's get this guy over here to the... Oh, baby. I did it. Traverse. Sorry, guys. You lost your chance. Oh, I rolled. I totally rolled on that. I was ripped off. Oh. Nice move, dude. Youch! Heal up! Dang it, this guy's not gonna let me heal, is he? He's so fast! I can't even get some distance so I could try. Oh crap! Um, back behind the wall. Drink, drink, drink! Oh, I got one! I might as well not even try! My goodness! I thought this guy was supposed to be dead. He's clearly not dead. <sighs> Man, that run. Even running past everything is a bit of a run. Uh, you know what I should do? I need to switch my ring. Oh, here we go. He's using fire weapons. I wonder if that would give me... Reduces lava damage. Do you think that would help with... Here we go. Fire defense. Let's try that. Uh, I'm going to swoosh us, and I'm going to try to do just like I did last time. I'm just going to try to run past everybody and get right into that entrance. Oh, I did it, baby. Oh, I was so nervous they were going to get a hit on me there. Oh, that time I was too early. I love the music they play here, too. That's interesting. Oh, I got a hit on him. Oh, big hit, baby. Oh, oh he did a double swing. And a triple. Oh, I need some health now. Quick. Dang it, I take too long to drink. Oh, what's it gonna do? Oh, you missed. Thank goodness. Oh, that was quick. Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh. Quick. Never quick enough. He did a double swing again. Come on, baby. I took out the rest of your family. What do you think about that? I was against the wall! Dang it! I got closer. Get mm. He's just like I gotta run so far to get to him each time. Gives me time to like, lose my rhythm. I don't like that. Whew. Here we go. Ah! Got it that time, chump. Oh, I thought he was going to do a, a double or a triple. Oh. The worst part is the fact that my hits don't stagger him, even though he staggers me, you know? Jump back. Quick! Oh, it's not fast enough! Whoops. Not what I meant to do. Ah! Oh. I hate that I can't find a space to heal. I have not found a window anywhere yet where I can do a heal. It's like I feel like I have to beat this guy on a flawless run, like healing is not something I'm supposed to do. I haven't tried using my shield at all to like block his attacks. I don't know if that's something I should be trying to do. I don't know. 
All right, I'll swoosh this back to him. This is a solid two minute run every time I do it too. Well, unfortunately I got caught several times on that run. Okay, there we go. At least I was able to heal up. Okay, that made a difference. Oh. Drink. Oh, yes. Oh boy. Oh, that was close. All right, this is helping a lot. Oh boy. Uh, I think he does that to make people think that they can use one there. Oh, yes. Yeah, do your double. I saw that coming. Gotcha. Oh, that was a quick swing. Oh. Did so much better. Oh, he did four. Gotcha. That was my turn. No! Oh! That's new. So that's what he's been trying to do when he tries to grab me. Oh! Dang it. I got a drink. I had him up until he grabbed me. I had that. Ugh. Gosh. I hadn't seen what that move does. I thought it was just like a punch ground move. He, he just kept missing. Once he got that on me though. Dang it. Well, using my shield definitely was a huge help. All right, I swoosh us there again. Ooh, okay, that run went a lot better. In fact, one of the knights fell off, and I got some, uh, I got some souls for it. Ah, oh, whatever. He tried to kick my shield away. You suck, dude. Gonna do your big jump, aren't you? Oh, man! Oh, he tried to grab me. Oh. Quick! Oh, dang it! My goodness! Come on, give me a little window, buddy. That one. So his double swing is about the best chance. Okay. Yeah, I tricked you. I tricked you that time. Oh no, it wasn't a swing. No, I'm stuck. Oh no. I spend half my fight just trying to heal up. Oh God. Guy's getting annoying. Very annoying. He's he's a he's a main boss. I get it. He's supposed to be difficult. I get it. I mean, it is what it is. 
It's this long run to get back to him every time that's just driving me nuts. This wears me down faster than the fight does. It would be different if I felt like this run added something to the experience. Like, oh man, this run, you know, it's it's kind of cool. It gives you a chance to cool down or anything. No, it, there's... Once you've done it once or twice, you're like... Like, for example, this. I am literally trying to dodge all the enemies through here. There is nothing being added to the experience for me. It just feels like a waste of time. You know? That's the way I feel. It'd be different if you, you beat every boss after just a couple of attempts, but, you know, you try ten times on an enemy, and you have to run this, I'm gonna lose a half an hour of my life to this run. You know what I mean? And I'm just grateful that I figured out how to dodge him pretty quickly. Because if I was trying to fight my way here each time, I'd have gone hollow. <laughs> uh, nothing wears me out quite as fast as wasted time. That goes for any game I play. If I feel like I'm wasting time, that gets me more than anything. Okay, well, one hit. Heal up. Okay. Ooh. Well, that blocked some of it. There he goes. He's trying to grab me again. Oh, how did that hit me? Oh, so far away. I don't think so. Oh. Oh, I got it up just in time. Oh, and the one time I go for attack, that's when he does a triple. Oh, dude. No! Figures. Eat that. Look how far that reached. He has a sword. He does not have a halberd. He reaches further than I do. I can't attack without getting attacked. And then if I try to heal, he runs up and stabs me. And then throws in the following swings so that I, I have to die. It's like, I have to try to get health back. I have to try to get health back. Otherwise, he chips away at my shield because he's always going to do damage. There's no attacks that I do that stagger him. So even when I hit him, I'm now open to an attack, which is fine if I get opportunities to try to get my health back. Whew, that was close. I had a lot of close calls. He hit me through there. Oh, that was cheap. Yeah. Look, that shouldn't have hit me. I'm just grateful I had my, my shield up. Oh, that was close. terrible. Yeah, I can't heal up. Try to make it look like I can, but I know I can't. Oh. The fact that people can do this without taking a single hit is amazing to me. I'm going for it. I got him on the other side of that rock. Ah! <laughs> I can block two hits before I start to get staggered, and that's when I become real vulnerable. So I'm trying to I'm trying to play it slow. 
I'm using this rock as often as I can. Oh. Yeah, what do you think of that? <laughs> using my environment, baby. I don't think he's happy. <laughs> oh! Oh, I missed. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I probably didn't need to use that. Oh well. Opportunity was there. Oh, did I get him? Okay, I did get hit on him. Oh. I don't think so. Nope. Don't use that move. If that kick gets me killed, <laughs> you already know how much I hate the kick move. Okay, there we go. Oh, yes. Pro tip, everybody. I found out how to heal in this guy. You gotta use this rock right here. Still gotta be careful, though. He tried to kick my shield away. I want to use a vial. Oh no, I'm not really behind. Okay, good. Whoop. Oh, he's trying to grab me. No, no, no. I can't believe we got this connected right there. What are the odds? He's got like this much health left. I better not die. Do I start this all over? I start the fight all over. No. Oh, that is so annoying. Gosh. Where's my rock? Sorry guys, I'm so, so I I don't know what causes me to get disconnected so often. It happens about every two hours. I've tried everything and it still does it. Oh, he ran around the rock. Not cool. Can't get away. Drink. Ooh, that time you ran right through it. Oh, not. I said roll back. Oh, man. I'm so low on health. I had him. I had him on that last fight and I got disconnected. So mad. Oh, Matt, I had him. I was full of health. He was down to like last bar and a half. I had him right there around the rock where I needed him. Oh, that is beyond infuriating. All right, I'll swoosh us there again. Okay, I took one hit. Get through there, do not hit me. I don't even take any chances with that first jump anymore. Okay, where's my rock? Oh, he's doing a triple. Uh. Okay. Uh. Well, that was a big hit. Oh, he got me good. <laughs> the rock paid it. The rock paid off again. Go. Take my hits one at a time, I suppose. 
Oh. Woo! That's quite a little jab he did right there. Man, look how fast that swing is. Drink. Whew. There we go. Oh, man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not talking a whole lot. I'm very focused. I've fought this guy so many times. It's like I don't want to make a mistake. Oh. Okay, back of that swing fast. Oh, nope. I don't think so. I want to get my health back. Oh, he caught me. Oh, that one shouldn't have worked like that. Oh, okay. I blocked it. Thank goodness. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I got nervous. I thought he was going to grab me on that one. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh. Need some health. He's chipping away at me. Oh, yeah. There we go. No, no, no. I knew as soon as he sidestepped, he was going to get around that rock. Yeah, I was ready for it that time. Come on. You're mine, chump. You look. Oh. Oh, this is too close. Oh. Oh, come on. I thought he was going to do four. I was going to stab him if he did four. I can't get a, a spot with the rock. I don't want to swing at him at all. Okay, there we go. Oh, I feel much better. It was hard to wait. One more hit. Come on, baby. Oh. Sit down! Oh. Dude, if I had a teabag move... <sighs> Take it in a minute. Just the breathing. <laughs> Took out your whole family. As <laughs> funny as that sounds. Oh, that was exhausting. Just in case something crazy happens, Rock, I'm gonna give you a big kiss. Mwah. Until I figured out how to use that little rock. I don't think there's anything there. I'm just picking it up. I ain't leaving nothing for him. So that's where I came in. Let's see what the messages say. Weakness is tears. Eminent, glorious, gorgeous view. I did it. So did I. Catching on fire? Yo! Oh. 
screech to link the fire ending. That's how they end it? I was kind of expecting more. (laughs) You figure we had this introduction that was like two, three minutes long of story. And then at the end, we just go up in flames. Now, I know it said we completed the Link the Fire achievement or whatever, so I assume we have now linked all the fires. Isn't that kind of like... Is that what the the big lady was doing? Was trying to link all the fires? Did we become, like, did we take his place? Lord Gwyn's place, did we take his place there? I don't know. I would definitely say from a story standpoint, it is hard to follow. I can understand bits and pieces of it, And thankfully, you guys have left comments along the way that have been very helpful as well. And I know I've had some people say, you know, it would be worth watching some lore type videos and uh, maybe make a reaction video for that. But I've also been told those contain spoilers for number two and number three. So if I do that, it's probably not going to be until I've finished all of them. And then I can go back and see how like the whole thing pieces together. I don't know, maybe over the course of the coming games, I piece more of it together as well. Especially if you guys keep giving me tips and stuff along the way about how the story's flowing together. So what I'm wondering, what was that place? Why was Gwyn down there? So, you know, we were set free from the prison... We get dropped off over here by the bird. And we start venturing into these places and we find out ultimately about the four souls that we have to gather. You know, like the bed of chaos and everything. So it's like these four people did extreme things trying to, I don't know if rule this world is the right thing to say, but But we we got all four of those. And Seth was actually a really cool fight. I enjoyed that. The run getting there wasn't too bad. It's the fact that I didn't have to fight my way there each time. I just had to run the obstacle course. The run here to Gwyn was more annoying because the whole time I had the chance of taking hits to get there. And a few times I did take some hits. So, overall, I absolutely loved this game. Far more than what I expected to in the beginning. When I first decided to play this game, my biggest fear is that I was just going to have non-stop frustration and go hollow. It, apparently, that's a, a term that I learned as I played through this. I, I thought, there's no way I'm going to finish this because I'm going to be so aggravated. But I was like, I'm going to give it a solid effort. Man, I fell in love with it immediately. It was so good. It's kind of hard not to just want to jump right into the next one. But I, I want to put some break between here and there, allow myself to kind of decompress from this one, process, hear feedback from you guys on like uh, some story bits and stuff. We'll see if anything happens here at the end. Now, I was told that once you beat the game, you can't just go back to where you left off. It sounds like you have to start all the way over. That's why some people were very adamant about make sure you do the DLC stuff now, because if you beat the game, you can't go do the DLC stuff until you come back to it. So we'll see if anything happens here. Back where it all began. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. is 
face your fate. Is it just starting over? I mean, obviously, I still have all my stuff, it looks like, or at least my gear. Oh, look at that. I still got my souls. Is there by any chance a different message? Nope. <laughs> uh, so it starts you over, and it's like, here you go. Do it again. Wow. Yeah, I absolutely love this game. And I got to tell you, your guys' encouragement and tips and tricks and suggestions and all that stuff along the way and how much you enjoyed the playthrough, hearing that feedback was fantastic. I loved it. If I had to pick a favorite, you know, let's let's talk about some of my favorites. Uh, well, least favorite boss would definitely be Bed of Chaos. I did not like that. The run... The run on that one was very similar to this one, where I had to dodge enemies the whole way, and it was a lengthy run, which made it annoying. And on that one, I even had to like swap a ring for the run and then swap back to another ring when I got into the fight. Uh, but what made that one even worse than Lord Gwyn is the fact that I didn't exactly know what to do. I wasn't, it wasn't just a straight attack the enemy kind of thing. I had to solve the puzzle. and. <laughs> You mess up once, you just get pushed off into the abyss. So, you know, I, I didn't really like that too much. So that was definitely my least favorite. Uh, Sif, the giant wolf, was a really awesome encounter. Uh, I would say that the knight that we encountered over there in Ula Seal was also a super awesome encounter. I, the introductions to both of those were just so fantastic. I loved it. Uh, I even kind of liked the abyss character uh all the way at the bottom of ula seal that was a really unique enemy as well uh that dragon i think it was called S but the one where it's like it was open it had the little tentacles and stuff it came up like out of the sewage and stuff i would have loved to have seen more just weird creatures like that. We did see quite a few, but creatures like that where it's like, you haven't seen that in any other kind of game, that was really cool. When they had introductions that were just that far over the top, I loved it. Sin's Fortress, I'll always remember it. And I thought for sure it was gonna be the most annoying thing in the whole game. Like, man, I, I'm never gonna get past this. And when I do, I never wanna play it again. Until I went down into the Tomb of Giants and I had no lantern. Well, I had a lantern. I just didn't know how to use the lantern. <laughs> Itching my way all the way through that. It took me three episodes, I think. That was crazy. Uh, the halberd was definitely my favorite weapon. I was very disappointed with the Priscilla weapon. I would have been fine with it had it had some cool looking effect to it. But no, it was just a, another big boss weapon with no effects. I hear that the boss weapons get a little easier to obtain in the future ones and that they look really cool. So I'm looking forward to trying to get to do some more of those. Wow. What an experience. I absolutely loved it. I can't praise enough and I don't want to sit here and start rambling, but those are a couple things that were my favorite. I, if I had to pick a favorite zone, honestly, I really enjoyed going through the asylum area with all the skeletons. They were fun. <laughs> Good thing too, because I fought them like forever at the beginning. Uh, the lava zone way down in the bottom was really cool too. And this, the big spider, chaos spider lady that we fought, that was another really unique boss with unique weapon. Nice big area to run around. I feel like I beat the game. I feel like I did a good job. I don't think I left any bosses unfought. If I did miss any, feel free to let me know in the comments. I know there's that golem that I never went to take back to finish off, but I don't care about that. But as far as named bosses, I think I got them all. <sighs> Absolutely loved it. That's it for this one, everybody. Hope you had a good time. Until next time, continue to be safe out there. 
I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>